Econ students, welcome back to another episode of Econ Acronyms. So today we're going to be looking at the effects of an appreciation or a depreciation of a currency. Exchange rate fluctuations have an incredibly important impact on a country's macroeconomic objectives. And this is why it's an extremely popular question for many economics courses such as the IB and the A-level. And the best way to remember all of these effects and write a really good essay on this topic is to remember BICEP. Okay, so B stands for balance of payments. A currency appreciation tends to cause a fall in exports because it's more difficult to sell goods and services at a higher price. With that, cheaper imports coming into your country will push up the demand for foreign goods. Therefore, the current account balance should start to worsen. Whereas a currency depreciation tends to cause a rise in exports because it's much easier to sell goods and services at a lower price. With that, imports become more expensive and also push up the demand for uh, domestic goods at home. Therefore, the current account balance starts to improve. I stands for importers and exporters. Importers gain from a strong currency, uh, such as companies buying uh, raw materials and intermediate goods from abroad, and they will certainly benefit from a strong currency. Equally, as the currency gets weaker, the same goods bought abroad will become more expensive. Exporters, on the other hand, will have difficult trading conditions when the currency is strong because of a price increase in their products for foreign customers. When the currency is weak, exporters will be able to increase uh, the sales of their products abroad. However, it should also be noted that in both cases, the elasticity of their products has an influence on the impact of the appreciation or depreciation of the currency. Okay, now C. C is for customers who will have a greater purchasing power when the currency appreciates. As the currency strengthens, the demand for goods and services abroad increase. Such as when Britain exited the European Union, the pound depreciated against the dollar and has been consistently weak since. This has led to an increase in tourism and demand for British goods from US customers. However, at the same time, British consumers now have less purchasing power and with that, they will demand less American goods and will be less likely to visit there on vacation. E is for employment. A prolonged appreciation of the currency will tend to lead un to unemployment in exports oriented industries due to falling demand for their goods, leading to falling profits and ultimately unemployment. Depreciation leads to an increase in employment in the export sector due to increasing demand for their goods and higher profits. Okay, and finally, P is for prices. Unemployment caused by a currency depreciation leads to lower consumption in the economy thus reducing inflation. However, if the country relies on imports such as food and oil, a higher uh, exchange rate may lead to a reduction in the inflation rate. Equally with currency depreciation, foreign consumers will buy more of your country's goods and domestic consumers will also buy fewer foreign goods with their goods becoming comparatively cheaper. Okay, so that's a quick rundown of all of the effects of a currency appreciation and depreciation. Okay, good luck in your exams. I'm sure you'll do really well if a question on exchange rates comes up. Thank you very much. Goodbye.